first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, and Second, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do really well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the whole world that are scattered across the four corners of the earth. We howl by Shimmy and Howard Shah's place you have. Shalom to you, Akim, out there, rest in your life and your freedom. We preach this gospel and this good news. Be a highway from byways or be the internet. Shalom to you. Shalom to you, Israelites, and be like the members of the other nations. But your bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And if the Spirit can receive it, you're an Israelite. So shalom to you. Shalom to you, say, Aguas there, you see women. And shalom to you, children. As well, I'm the brother Michael from the tribe of Judah 144. Coming to you again with another quick lesson. Apparatizat, which means Lord willing, you see some edification from it. All right, as I came across this um, article that says New York reports, New York reports first U.S. polo case in nearly a decade. Okay, in nearly a decade. All right, and one thing I always notice. That the reason why they say that these things occur because a person is not jabbed up or they're not juiced up, which is a bunch of BS, okay, because, see, this world, this world don't really acknowledge in this day and age the true judgments of Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah, but very soon in the time to come, the days that we are drawing closer to each and every day, they will. Because plagues are going to be sent constantly, all right? And from the crown royal to now, you have nothing but plagues that have been sent, you know, to, to, to the old monkey thing, you know, to this new thing, the polo, and um, the different pestilence that's going to be sent different plagues as well okay i'm just gonna read just a little bit of this and get a precept and i'm in the like i said a quick lesson uh, you know an unjab young adult from new york recently contacted polo the first u.s case in nearly a decade health official said thursday official said the patient who lives in rockland county has developed paralysis the person developed symptoms a month ago and did not recently travel outside the country, county health oh, official said, no. right? It appears the patient has a jab of a strain or the virus. Perhaps for someone who got live jabbed up, they went in other countries but not in the United U.S. and it spread it, she said. The person is no longer deemed contagious, but investigators are trying to find out how the infection occurred and whether other people were exposed to the virus. You know, and the funny thing about it, they could take this person's DNA and mix it with other persons, you know, to spread it. So they'll have a reason, oh, this is the reason why we have to do these measures because it's, it's getting out of hand, you know. Like the scripture said, never trust thy enemy. Never, all right. In that article, all right. This is the book of Second Exodus, chapter fifteen. It's locking. This is Second Ezra. Chapter 15. I'm going to start a. Sure, sure. You can bring your mom and her nurse. Yeah. Verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, and I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt. Okay? And we're in the, we're in the modern day Egypt, you know, which means slavery. Verse eleven. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm. Them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues, as before. And I will destroy all the land thereof. And that's what basically what Yahweh Hashem is doing each and every day, more and more. You got all these different plagues and pestilence and stuff like that that's surfacing, you know, and, and when I hear about it, all I can do is, is truly acknowledge the Most High because he's a man that, 
doesn't lie. If your house brush your mouth, I say he's going to do something. He's going to be done. And the scary thing about it is it comes so unexpectedly, you know, but he does give us a warning as to I'm going to do this, but it just comes out of nowhere sometimes. All right. Verse 12, either shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and pun. So I can be smitten with the plague and punishments that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall bring upon it. All right. Because the wickedness of this praise has exceeded, you know, up to the heavens. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is tired of this. He's, he's tired of what's going on. He's tired of the wickedness. So he's going to keep sending plagues and pestilence upon this place. He's going to, he's going to increase the famine. He's going to increase the crime. All right, he's gonna do this. Why? Because you, you have a lot of jakes out there that don't hearken to the words of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. So he's bringing these punishments upon upon this place as a chastisement. All right. And watch, watch very soon before this year is over with. Which I pray. You know that they hurry up, you hurry up, and you roll with your mandate, man. You roll with that 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 MOTV, man, so the Hamashi y'all can come back and usher in his kingdom and righteousness. Because living in a, a kingdom that's ruled in wickedness, man, it, it can it can it can really get to your mind mentally. You know, it, it can drain you. Okay, but we know that Yahweh Hashem is going to come through. We know that he's going to send these things. He's already doing it. The sword. You shouldn't have done when you turn on the news and hand about somebody getting dropped. You know, these man made, lead made diseases. All right? You got animals, spurs being put on animals to, to, to attack their owners. You know? Um, the, the food shortage. And, and, and the inflation, the hyperinflation, as you may say. All right, it's a lot of things that Howard Bashman Al-Shah is doing. He's going to continue to do, you know, because it's no saving this place. This place is going to be destroyed, or the, or just just utterly destroyed. You know, so that's why we fear Howard Bashman Al-Shah because of the power that he has and, and the things that he's capable of doing. All right, more plagues are going to come. Famine is going to come. You know, it's so much stuff that's going to come. You know, but um, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, you know, we um, we diligently just wait for these things. You know, we put all our trust and our faith that no matter what the Lord brings, you know. He's going to protect us and he's going to deliver us through these different situations. All right? So call all your help, Bashim Al Shah. Call all your help, Bashim Al Shah. Call all your help, Bashim Al Shah. Bashim Al Shah. Kadash. Double arms to the elders and the apostles of Jim. That's a do you well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the whole for all that are scattered across the four corners of the earth. And Yahweh Bashim Al Shah's place here. All right? Take the next one. Shalom.